What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Clash of Clans video. In today's video, we got a special one today. I'm gonna be maxing out my Town Hall 11. This is the first time I'm ever gonna have a maxed out Town Hall 11, and I'm so excited. Let's get right into it, and let's hop on over to the progress space to give you guys a better view. Let's check it out, right here. I have two upgrades left, and that is two walls to level 12, and then in the lab, I have only golems to finish. So everything else is done besides golems. So let's do it. Let's finish it off. The heroes are already done. All the defense is already done. Let's do it. All right, one, no, I'm gonna bring these walls over here for dramatic effect. Where's the second wall? There it is. All right, come over here. The last three things to max out, Town Hall 11. One wall, done. Second wall, done. And now, we are basically maxed out Town Hall 11, but we're not really maxed out Town 11 until I waste 643 gems on maxing out the golems. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. 600 gems gone. We're maxed out Town Hall 11, guys. Let's go. Let's get out of there. Everything's done. Oh my goodness. Check it out. The suggested builders. Nothing is suggested besides the Town Hall everything here is finished everything is maxed out let's go to like one of my regular bases see how it looks let's go to this base right here oh my goodness it looks so clean i love the white walls at town hall 11 they look so nice almost as good as those town hall 13 walls or those town hall 10 walls they look so clean all the defenses are maxed i'm no longer a rusher guys besides in the rush to max videos i'm no longer a rusher i am maxing out town halls Left and right, this is insane. Absolutely insane. I cannot believe I finally have a maxed out Town Hall 11. This account's gonna stay at max Town Hall 11 forever, guys. Literally forever. Let's see if I could change the name. Okay, I'm not spending 1,500 gems. I would change the name to Luca Braxi Town Hall 11, but I don't have the funds for that. Anyways, account looks amazing. This feels so good. Now that we're maxed out Town Hall 11, let's get a better base design. All right, we're back with our custom base design. Looks absolutely sick if you ask me. We got a scorpion looking base. Don't need to defend any of the resources like I said. Gonna be running this base pretty much forever unless I decide to push to Legends Lake on the Town Hall 11, which will definitely happen one day. But yeah, there's the Town Hall 11 maxed out. Looks so good. All right, now that we're maxed out Town Hall 11, you already know I need to show you guys my top three Town Hall 11 attack strategies up to date with maxed out troops and maxed out heroes. All right, so the first attack strategy is gonna be the Frozen Bow Witch. This is now my go-to Town Hall 11 attack strategy, but it only works on certain types of bases. As you guys know, as you get further along in the game, Different attacks work on different types of bases, and I'm going to explain to you guys while I'm attacking what type of bases this attack will work on. Alright, so when you're using this attack, the Frozen Bow Witch, you want to find bases that are not ring bases and have single infernos. Those are the two most important things. Single infernos is probably the most important, and then you don't want to attack bases that are rings. This base, totally fine to attack, so let me show you guys how to do it because I'm running out on time. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is drop in one E-Drag to start the funnel on your base. Doesn't really matter too much. It's more of just a filler space. So I'm gonna drop it right here. And then, more importantly, we drop our four ice golems. So one, two, three, four. And we drop our wall wrecker, king, bowlers all around. Spread them out. Make sure you don't drop them on top of each other. It's kind of hard here because I had to do this really quick. Make sure your warden's on ground. And now we need to make sure that wall wrecker stays alive there. So we're going to freeze that single inferno. And it's looking really good so far. Our main kill squad is our wall wrecker, king and queen. So we got to make sure we keep those alive. We're going to pop our warden ability. Right now, I missed my wall wrecker. I'm supposed to hit the wall wrecker, but it's not too big of a deal. Because our wall wrecker is going to get into the center of the base. Hit that queen, eagle, and town hall. And now basically, I'd say around half the base is already destroyed. Attack's looking really good, and we still have six bat spells. So what we're going to do now is this. We are going to wait for our queen to take out that wizard tower to drop our bat spells. And I'll show you guys how it's done in a second here once this queen takes it out. All right, queen took it out. We're going to drop our six bat spells, and we're going to make sure we freeze this wizard tower before it attacks our bats. Because that's the biggest, like, 
defense that'll take out your bats, those wizard towers, make sure they're frozen the whole time. And I just realized there's another wizard tower up here. Oops. I'm going to show you guys why you need to freeze those wizard towers. Because they're going to melt those bats. Literally delete my bats. But it's all good since I still have a few more troops left. I should still be able to get this free 3 star. Messed up there on accident. Didn't notice that the second wizard tower is there. It's all good. This attack still OP. You don't even need to successfully know how to freeze to still 3 star. So we got that archer queen that's why maxed out heroes are so useful as well as you could tell these heroes are so much better than like level 30 heroes took a long time to upgrade them but it was definitely worth it let's pop our queen ability she's gonna take out those last few skeleton traps and the expo and there's the three star there's how you attack with the frozen bow witch our third attack strategy is going to be the queen charge hybrid one of the harder attacks it used to be in the meta it's not really anymore but I still think it's a great attack. Let's show you guys how to use this one. All right, we found a really common Town Hall 11 base. You guys probably come up against this one all the time. With this army, it doesn't really matter what type of base you're attacking. Uh, it doesn't matter if the Town Hall is centralized or Infernos are on single or multi. Really just a good army for any base. And what we want to do most of the time is try to Queen Charge into either the Eagle or the Multi Inferno. And I got to get attacking because... This attack could come down to time a lot, so I gotta get going. We're gonna drop our queen charge first. Funnel with the baby dragon. Gonna hopefully wall break my queen in here. Come on, queen. You gotta go in there. She should go into the base that way. Very nice. Thank you very much, queen. Don't turn around, please. Okay. So the queen's going right into the center of the base. It's looking really good right now. This is pretty much what you want. Pretty soon you're going to drop a rage on your queen and healers to keep her alive. Taking a lot of heat from all these defenses, but she should be fine. And the CC looks like nothing's in it or else the queen would have lured it by now. So then I could use my poison on either the enemy king or the enemy queen. I think I'm going to rage up my queen here instead of use the poison. Make sure you queen charge on this attack for at least like a minute almost. You want to make sure you send in your hybrid by... A minute 30 at the latest. I'm waiting pretty late here, but we're getting so much value with our queen. Need my queen to take out that multi-inferno ASAP. Now that I know which way my queen is going, we need to drop our siege barracks. That's important to know which way your queen's going. Then you could drop your siege barracks on the right side of the base. So siege barracks king is going to create a funnel, and then my hybrid's going to go right through here and run through the rest of the base. Looking like a great attack so far. Alright, let's drop our miners first. Then you want to wait a few seconds to drop your hog riders. Have to pop my queen ability. I'm gonna drop a poison on the enemy queen. Hog riders are in. Ground warden. And then yeah, this attack is absolutely slapping. Oh, just wasted my freeze there. That's not a good, but it's all good. Hopefully. Let's see how this goes here. I'm gonna use my heal spell around right here. Take out the enemy queen. Let's use our heal spell to keep our hog riders alive. Miners are a little bit behind. It's not too big of a deal. Hopefully they go for this multi-inferno though because that is important. Healers are keeping them alive with the warden on them as well. But they're going outside of the base. That's not what we like to see. You need to go back into the base and we're getting really low on time. Oh no. Drop a heal spell. This actually looks like it's going to be a time fail, guys. That was unfortunate. Rest in peace, boys. That's why you got to not talk at the beginning of your attacks. Because you will time fail. See, if I didn't attack, if I didn't talk for like the first 10 seconds of the attack, I might have got the triple on this base. This is also why this is the third best attack strategy. A lot of it relies on your queen charge. And if you mess up the queen charge, you won't always triple. But I think I would have tripled there. If I didn't commentate for the first 10 seconds instead of deploying my troops. My third favorite Town Hall 11 attack, the mass E-Drags with balloons. I like to go heavy on the free spells. I go with 7 freezes and only 3 rage spells. Most people will do 4 and 5 instead of 3 and 7. But I think 7 free spells is better. Let's do an attack. Alright, when you're using E-Drags to attack, you want to find bases that are not spread out in like 2 gap bases. If that makes sense. Bases with defenses that are touching each other is what you want. You don't want really spread out bases. 
this base is an island base, but that's fine because I have a blimp. So I'm going to show you guys how do I do this attack strategy. First thing is king on one corner, queen on the other, and that decides what side of the base you're attacking from. Since I dropped my heroes on those two corners, we're attacking from this side. Next up, drop your dragons, spread them out. Don't spread them out too far, but don't drop them all in the same spot. Then warden and then blimp. We're going to warden ability as soon as that first set of lightning strikes hits and then rage on top of the town hall then we're gonna freeze that single so our e-drag doesn't die we're gonna freeze this single again there's the freeze now we have five more free spells we pretty much ran over this base already we're gonna focus on freezing the remaining air defenses so drop a freeze there drop a freeze there freeze again wasted one and there it is that's how you three star with the e-drags Notice how that base was really like close together so the chains get a ton of value. Another huge thing is trying to avoid sweepers. So if you find bases with sweepers both facing in the same direction, hit those bases with e drags. Sweepers like the number one thing that stops e drags from tripling. If you go against two sweepers, you're probably never going to triple unless you could freeze them both at the same time. But if you don't have to use free spells on sweepers, it's a free three star as you could tell. I just three starred that base with how many E drags alive? One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that base stood no chance, and I pretty much had two free spells to spare. I ended up having one right there, but I dropped one on this air defense that was already destroyed. So there's the E drag attack. Obviously, really good, but make sure you use it on the right bases. Different kind of attacks are good on different bases, as you could tell so far. E drags, third best attack for sure. That's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the maxed out Town Hall 11 gameplay. Can't believe we're maxed out Town Hall 11. This will definitely be in the road to maxing out every Town Hall series. I'm like two Town Halls away since I maxed out the Town Hall 9 a few days ago. And now the Town Hall 11. And you guys know the other Town Halls I've already maxed out. I think I only need 13, 10, and 12. We're getting so close to having one account of maxed out at every single Town Hall. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Like I already said, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it so much. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Probably already said that. I'm rambling again. Thanks for watching again. Appreciate you guys. Peace out.